Hi everyone and welcome to the part 1 of Studio Makeover. So this is a smallest bedroom in our apartment and we were using to dump anything and everything that we thought that we might need in future or has some purpose or use. But eventually it kind of became a dumping zone. The first day was all about taking everything out and start decluttering. and the carpentry work was going alongside even day 2 was all about carpentry the marble slab got installed but i continued doing decluttering as you can see there was so much of uh, things in this room like and my plan was simple that i wanted to use all the vertical space that i had in this room Day 3 was about assembly of these two IKEA units and I will leave the link of these uh, IKEA units in the description box in case if you want to use something similar for your studio or your workspace What my plan was uh, to add painter's tape on top and add a uh, double sided tape on top of the painter's tape so that if at all i want to you know just take it to a different location i don't have to uh, add any screw or dismantle it or anything that will not uh, kind of deface the cabinets um so far this is working well and uh, you can't do anything uh, heavy duty on this like uh, If you say if you ask me can can I do a a do kneading on this no you cannot but fondant yes so this particular table I'm going to use it for my uh, all my fondant work will happen on this this side of the table and all the drawers I'll be using to organize all my fondant uh, and fondant tools Now if at all you have assembled any of the IKEA furniture oh my god it is difficult because uh, the instruction manual is all about picture and you can have to keep guessing it um so this process took a lot of time but uh, finally when it was done it just gave a beautiful shape to the room Now this toolbox has been uh, with me for a very very long time. You might feel that there is like too many things happening, but most of the time we do use uh, lots and lots of tools. Many of the time they come in a set of which three or four things we use and uh, not all of them is required, but you never know. So <laughs> I never throw them away. It stays in the caddy. Day 4 was all about organizing and uh, there is still a lot of things in this space but i just thought it's time to put things in cupboards so that i get an idea exactly what all i have and how much more storage i need to create so these are all my chocolate molds this is my uh, airbrush uh, motor and gun and that is uh, some styrofoam spheres I still have my sewing machine here. I need to put it in some space. I don't know yet where, but yeah, that will go in some space, not exactly here. Now, I have a plan to organize this table, make it super functional because this is a space where you have multiple number of tools, cutters, different types of fondants, petal dust. This particular area will be kind of an office area. and this will be entirely a fondant and decor area so i'm not sure if the trolley will stay here or not i've been using this a2 mat uh, self cutting mat you know self healing mat not self cutting self healing mat and it has worked really well as you can see i've started putting things but i still need to uh, organize it label it but yes these are the things that is going to stay in these drawers this is the part of the pasta machine
the floors need a lot of scrubbing and cleaning so everything needs a lot of cleaning there's a lot of dust around here i think i'll i don't know if i'm going to use this trolley or keep it in ishi's room or i have not yet decided over here i want to put a a shelf a, a four or a five tier shelf on this side where it can hold lots of heavy duty uh, stuff still need to clear this this area and my oven and otg everything will go here once i have all the wire connections done so this particular shelf is made out of ishi's bed it was an mdf bed and we converted it into a oven and a microwave stand now if you are a, a small business owner try and reuse as many things as you can it will just lower down your cost like these two were my nightstand in my master bedroom i have joined it and added additional uh, extension as you can see here this gives me extra space to more storage increases the height of the table for me to work or need things i have started organizing all these drawers everything needs a good clean i will i have still a lot of work to do but yeah i have started doing bit by bit these are all my cake boards some cake boxes it's a lots and lots of supplies lots of supplies so with cake uh, decor comes a lot of supplies these are all chocolate molds these are other tools of mine i'm planning to use these uh, drawer organizer to organize all these these all my cake boards different cake with for different sizes like different kind of packaging supplies are in here but the problem was inside of the room was coming a little bit together but everything was spilling outside the entire house the clutter had taken my entire house living room bedroom you name it everything was in a big big mess it took me almost 5 6 days i don't even know how many days actually so it was books wires decor things that we haven't even used for many many years now and it was still lying with us so we kind of just started decluttering in a way thinking what exactly do we need in next 3 to 6 months time that's it this was the only thought in the mind and if we do not need anything beyond 6 months that has to go out of the house as simple as that so as you can see it spilled in all my bedroom in all my uh, living room everywhere it was <laughs> so after few days though my studio is still not finished uh, but i just wanted to share what i have achieved so far and i'll be sharing part 2 and uh, there will be a part 3 as well so yeah uh, this is the area where all my non cake uh, things will happen like packaging of the things or anything that i want to create or anything that is not related to cake will happen on this particular desk this marble or uh, top counter is my baking area these are my photography backdrop i invested in these and i am planning to take uh, good pictures hopefully i am i i don't i'm not a good photographer at all i am in love with these marble counter tops i specifically wanted white marble top I am going to use a lot of wall space. I am waiting for a carpenter to come and help me with it. I 
I'm also going to use all these uh, fridge top space to store a lot of things. This is again, the, as I mentioned, it's going to be my cake decor area. And in this, the uh, slight slot that you see, I'm going to store all my uh, packaging material in this particular slot. It is a good slot where you can keep all your boxes and everything standing. If you're liking this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. As you know, it's a new channel and I will need all your support and love. So don't hesitate in subscribing to the channel because I'll be bringing more and more videos on this channel behind the scenes cake tutorials, fondant topper tutorials. So there is a lot that's coming on your way. So please hit that subscribe button. So all the wall shelf and everything will come here. And uh, these are the IKEA brackets that uh, will hold all the shelves. You will be seeing in part two a little bit of uh, how I'm going to organize the wall space. These are my chocolate melter and some top ones have all the paper shreds. These are all packaging supplies and some paints and everything that I'm going to use to uh, redo this entire room. And this is the cabinet that I was talking about oven microwave area it's right next to the fridge and uh, it is made out of uh, you know scrap plywood and uh, old kids bed so just leaving you with uh, the door and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'll be uploading weekly so, so you'll have a lot of content to watch. So consider subscribing. Until next time, see you. Bye-bye.